survive. Am I on here? Let's see. It's a mess over here. I'm cleaning up as fast as I can. All right. So, ooh, bills. Excellent. We'll pay those when we have more money. All right. We'll get stuff out of here. I don't even know if I'm on here. There's a good chance I'm on somewhere else. That's okay. I'm good. Gives me a little chance here. Hey, Michael. Thank you for being here. I'm going to clean all this up right now. Whoa. Get all this stuff out of the way. I apologize. Got back. I got back about 30, 40 minutes ago. And uh, been doing other things. Trying to recover from the beating I took. Hey, Bad Monkey. How's it going? Hey, Mark. How you doing? This, this is not my pink hat. What in, the, what in the world? I would never wear a pink hat. I would never wear a pink hat or rainbow shoelaces. That's ridiculous. Arm wrestling. Whew. Man, it was it was fun, but I am in serious pain. <laughs> every time you're done, you're... In the, I mean, sometimes you do injure yourself, but every time you're done, you feel like, yeah, I've, I've done something bad, Doc. I'm going to need that, that arm gone. I'm going to need it amputated. But it's just soreness. And stretching out those tendons and stuff. So, but it was fun. Hey, Doc, welcome. All right, woohoo, Doc's here. We can start. I'm just cleaning this off. I'm almost done. Got a couple things. I got two boxes in. Actually, I got three boxes in from National Knife Day that y'all haven't seen. So, I'm, I already got one open, and then I'm going to open another one right here live. Give y'all some first impressions about what's going on, and then show you what I got on Monday. And uh, show you how impressed I am with that part of it. That was awesome. All right. This is why I carry two L Doctor today. Oh, you know what? This is a custom Andrew Dimko 8010. And you know what? If you have the Cold Steel 8010 in your hand, you're getting just about the same experience that I am. So they did a great job on that knife. All right. Let me see that box. My new tweezers. That's not exciting. Bungee cords are not exciting. Here's my 804. Put that out there. Hey, ther hey Pete, Therapeutic Edge, how's it going? The elbows, they're okay. The tendons around the elbows hurt. And then the, hey, Christine, how you doing? The, I don't, the, there's the bicep, like right here. And then there's the tricep. And then there's this little muscle that runs between them. I think it's called the brachialis. That's what hurts in arm wrestling. And what happens is that muscle gets all inflamed and then it hits all the nerves from basically your wrist to your shoulder and it feels like uh, somebody just beat the fire out of everything in that area. So I just got done uh, spraying BioFreeze on it and rubbing it down with the white claw of death. And so I feel a lot better, but it'll hurt tonight. I'll probably wake up, wake up and screaming in pain or something. Not screaming, gently, mildly muttering. Why God, why? Something like that. Something like that's gonna happen for sure. All right, I'm almost done cleaning up and then we can start messing it up again, but in a more deliberate fashion rather than just chunking stuff over here. All right, flip it, flip, flip the, which one? The 8010? Here we go. <clears throat> here we go, the 8010 or the 804. I'll flip them all. Hey, Scott, welcome. All right, here's the deal. This is the Honest Guy Truth. I'm going to show you something real quick. All right. That's how much time we have to play. You know what's at the end of that timer? Chicken wings. <laughs> I haven't eaten all day. So I got to renourish my muscles. Okay. I think I will choose... I will choose to open all the packages with the Tucson because it is super slicey and very pretty. Yeah, the Lum is awesome. This is a great knife. If you don't have one of these, you should get one. You should get one of the medium sized one too because that's an awesome EDC. Just a wonderful size for just everybody. All right, let's put away the Ganzo. And we'll get that out of the way. Let me put this away before I monkey up my my 8010 here. Alright, put that somewhere where I can't find it. 
like I did with that check. Yeah, that was a fiasco. All right, let's get stuff going here. Choo -choo. Yeah, Tommy, I <laughs> want wingy. <laughs> I want wingy. All right, I'm going to give you all a choice. Box A or box B? Which one am I going to open first? I'm going to open up one on Friday so y'all can see it. Give me something to do on Friday. But box A or box B? Oh, man, it's turned out great. I love this knife. This is, I carry this thing all the time. And the titanium took some really good color. I really appreciate it. That was an awesome gift. Thank you so much. You're awesome. All right. Box B. All right, they're going box B. All right, box B it is. Oh, box B is going to hurt. Box B fell down behind the chair. Oh, that elbow doesn't go that way. Oh. All right, we got it. All right, we retrieved it. All right, box B. It is. Oh, hey, Great Cider, welcome. All right, we'll open that in a second. First, I got to show you. Did I show you guys this stuff in PIF? I don't know. Somebody sent in some PIF stuff. Let me see if I showed it to you. I know I looked at it, but I don't know if I showed it to you. Did I show you the manly knife? Oh, I don't think I showed you guys this stuff. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is like a multiple slip joint, half stop, three quarter stop, half stop, quarter stop. This thing is really cool. And it was made for manly man or manly woman, which is fine if that's what you are. But either way, it's manly. It smells like you just got done with four hours of arm wrestling. Manly. Madly. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, let's keep going. So I can't tell you who sent this in because I don't know if I have permission. Oh, thank you, Bad Monkey. All right, let's keep going here. Hey, Peter B., welcome. Yeah, these are awesome. Have you seen these before? I can't tell you who turned these in, but it starts with an S. If you're in here and you start with an S and you may have sent that in, knock three times on my window. Show me a sign if you're here. Okay. Then they send in. Oh, look at this one. Doc, you'll love this one. Have you seen the the Boker? The Boker slip joint traditional thingy? This thing is really cool. I don't know if you've seen that. I really like that one. Man, that's a that's a cool knife. It's kind of smooth and white and ivory-ish. It's awesome. So he sent in those two. And then holy heck freak. Check that out. He's sitting in this case lockback. Check that out. Look at that thing. Man, this is a good box. I'm telling you, there haven't been a lot of, there wasn't a lot of Pithmas signups. So, there's a lot of good knives going out for Pithmas. Check that one out. I don't even know what this one's called. It's got like a liner lock on a case. What is that thing? Is that the trapper lock? I don't know. That's pretty cool. The Boker 110. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, you've seen this blue one? Yeah, this one's awesome. I forget what it's... I don't know what it's called. I, I don't forget. You know, it's like being in the military and the drill sergeant gets in your face. Tell me the maximum range of a blah, 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 blah. And then if you tell them that you've been informed but you do not recall and they haven't taught you that yet, then it, you're all in trouble. So you can't lie. But then you have to remember what you've been informed about. So you have to say... Joe Sergeant, the private has not been informed of the maximum effective range of a no 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 no. All right, awesome. Thank you, S. S. U. I really appreciate it. That's S. U. Not you know the other one. That's awesome stuff. That's a really really good box of fun. So that's a great great bunch of stuff that's going to go to Piff. All right. Oh, the blue version of the Boker. The Rust Lock. Okay. Yeah, that's a really cool knife. That's the first time I've held that one. All right, there's another one. Where did I put it? Okay, my first National Knife Day thing, and now I've lost it. Dang it, come it. All right. Where did I put it? It's like it walked away. 
I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to rush. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to beat the chicken wings. <laughs> Hold on. It was a really. It was so cool. All right. Well, you don't get to see it. I'm gonna get, I feel like I'm in a time crunch. All I have to do is go turn off the stove when the timer goes off. So we can keep going. It's okay. Don't cry. Don't shed a tear, Dorothy. Don't cry. All right. I have no idea what I'd do with that stinking knife. Where in the world can I put it? Oh, all right. I'm going to find it. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to find it because I want you all to see it. I just had the dirty. Oh, there it is. The dirty. I almost started cussing. Oh, look at this. This is the one that was on the sale for the elbow hurts, David, but not too bad. Everything else hurts. But I'm in good. I'm doing good. I had a blast. We we're out there for four hours doing some pulling and thrashing of the muscles. Look at this. This is that Topps Fieldcraft folder they had on sale on National Knife Day. And this is the honest God truth about two days before that sale. I almost bought it for full price. That's how I felt this thing over it at uh, Smoky Mountain when I went out there after Blade Show. I almost bought this. I ended up buying that other one instead. This thing is awesome. It's so locked up. Look at the size of that. It's like a beastly liner lock. Nope. <laughs> oh, my arm. Oh, my arm hurts. I can't wiggle. I can't wiggle knives. That's how bad my bicep hurts. All right. I'm going to lightly wiggle it. No wiggly. Look at that. This thing is awesome in hand. And if I had... I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I'm a tester or not, but this thing is really cool and if you're going to use something out in the field and you're looking for a folder to slip in your pocket or put on your belt this is a really good option super strong feels just like the bob in hand as far as having the bob look at that guy that guy needs to cut his fingernails don't you think look at that once again nosferatu got me i have traveled oceans of time <laughs> to grip you with my fingernails of death all right, so the Fieldcraft. That thing was great and a sweet, sweet deal on that thing. All right, now we're going to open box B here. Do, do, do. Hey, Blade Man, how's it going? All right. Yeah, Doc, congratulations on your win. That was awesome. Congratulations, everybody that won. There was a bunch of folks in the group that won. That's, on, that's fantastic. Always makes me happy to see you guys win. Well, most of you. Some of you I don't want you to ever win. No, that's not true. You should never have a good day. All right, let's see what I... I forget what I ordered out of this box, so this is going to be a surprise. Kind of. All right, we need that for packing. Oh, this is the... I bought a bunch of budget knives to review. That's what I've got. All right, so here we go. Oh, man. I wanted to check this one out. Have y'all seen this one? The Kershaw Tension... This looks like something I'm going to keep. Check that out. That's nice. I'm not going to open it right now, though. I'll open it later. All right. Ooh. She got Moxie, I say. Moxie. Did you check out the games on that? No. <laughs> Moxie. The CRKT Moxie. Just awesome. That's a really cool knife, too. I made wise choices. That was a good choice. What else did I get? Oh, the Decimus. Oh, I've, I played with the Maximus. Now I'm going to play with the Decimus. I've been wanting to check this one out too for you guys. This one's pretty cool. Bunch of group folks went on Black Friday whenever the last time was they did a bunch of giveaways. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we. that was pretty cool too. All right, let's see what else I got. Have y'all played with any of these? Have y'all checked out any of these knives? I really am interested in all of these, actually. Just, I'm really looking forward to checking them out. Oh, groovy. This is the Kershaw Groove. There you go. Check that out. That looks pretty cool. All right, so I'll be checking these knives out eventually. What else I got in here? Oh, one more. Ooh, what's this one? Oh, I got a Rough Rider. Which Rough Rider did I get? Oh, I got the the Trapper to match the... All right, close your eyes, guys, if you're upset by the multi-dotted thing. 
This is a multi dot. This is that buckshot bone one. Is this a trapper? I got to learn my traditionals better. Is this a trapper? Sorry, Doc, you have to look. Is this a trapper? It's got the two blades. Oh, I can't get my ginormous short fingernails in there. Look at that. That one's nice. That's really cool. Very cool. The Mordax. That sounds cool. That sounds like an alien. Like an alien race that's coming to take over the world. The Mordax is only 15 light years away. I know. I had too much energy drink and not enough food. And then I took some ibuprofen. Here's a story about ibuprofen. This is a true story. I'm going to tell you one real quick. <laughs> I know you don't want to hear it, but I'm going to tell you anyways. Because you all need to learn. Okay, so one time. This is about, uh, what do you think, 18 years ago. Me and my wife went to California to visit my grandpa and my, my family out there in California. And so when we would go out there, my grandpa would take us to Lake Tahoe. We'd do a little gambling and hanging out, checking out the snow and the lake and just having fun. So this last time we get out there, he's driving like a madman. I don't know if y'all ever been up through the Sierras there and there's like big droppy cliffs on the side of the road. And so he just gets... I'm serious, he got about a foot and a half behind this guy on a motorcycle. It's just, if y'all have seen that movie Duel with Dennis Weaver where the truck is trying to kill him, that was my grandpa on, on this road. And we're, I'm just white knuckling it or in the front seat with my uncle. You know, we're all three across there and then there were three across in the back, my wife, his, um, somebody's sister and my aunt. And so we're just, uh, just, you know, just going too fast and, you know, he's 70-something years old, 75 years old. Not that, that he was bad or anything for that, but... So there's finally a little divot in the road where the guy could get off. So we got to Tahoe. We're just all quiet for the for the rest of the ride. Just, you know, wondering what else is going to happen. So his sister, his sister just kind of lit into him for it, for doing driving like that, my, my great aunt. And come to find out, he blamed it on the ibuprofen he had taken, so... That's the story about ibuprofen. That's where the ibuprofen took us to Tahoe. <clears throat> a Barlow. There you go. All right, Barlow. Did y'all check it out already? I'm sorry. What time zone am I? I'm in the central time zone. The great state of Texas. All right. Here, let, me, let me open it again. I'm sorry about that. All right. There you go. Check that out. Man, snappy as freak. I just can't get my fingernail in there. That's what I get for being nervous. There you go. Is that the Barlow? I should know. They just didn't put it on the box. But it does come with a really cool magnetic box. A really cool cool knife. I'm not really sure I should play Rough Rider Roulette today. <laughs> I won! <laughs> oh, man. That was close. It wasn't close, but ever since they told me not to do that, I have to do it. All right, let's see what else we got here. So these are the knives I've got in that box. And then there's another box with other knives in it that I can't show you. Because you chose B. Oh, but I do have something else that's kind of cool. That's really cool for me. Yeah, the Kershaw Groove is cool. I think my favorite look of knife is this one here so far. The ones I got today. The ones I've shown you. I really like, I'm really looking forward to opening this and showing you guys. Oh, look at this. All right. Let me see. Let me make sure what's in here before I get all excited. The big bolster and fat teardrop shape is bar, though. Okay. All right. I'm sorry about that. I really got to get my traditional traditionals down. I do know what the cotton sampler looks like. I can call that one out all day long. All right. This thing is super slicey. Excellent, excellent. All right, let me see if it's in here. It is. All right, so I got some more stickers. If y'all want a sticker, send me a self-addressed stamped envelope. That's all you're going to do. And then I got, because they had a deal, <laughs> I don't know, I got some buttons. It was super inexpensive, so I got some buttons. What do y'all think? <laughs> 
Jimmy Slash for President buttons. <laughs> so I got a bunch of buttons for whatever, for giveaway, you know, boxes or whatnot. All right. How much was the tension? I don't know. I, it was really inexpensive. Most of those knives were inexpensive. Man, where are my glasses? Oh, there they are. Can you open that Keyshawn Groove? Key. Oh, the groove and hold it. No, I can't hold it yet. I have to hold it for the review. I gotta wait for the review. All right, and come it. I'll hold it. All right, let me find it. Where's the groove? Is that the one y'all want me to open? The groove? I'm only opening one. Don't make me come back there. Don't make me stop this car. All right, here we go. I'm going to open this up. Now, right into the belly. All right, let's get this thing open. It hurts the arms. Oh. oh. All right, here we go. We're going. We're getting it. Oh, man, it hurts. All right. I've lost all fine motor control. Ah, it's so dangerous. They put these things in this thing with an open position. All right, here we go. Here's the groove. Check that out. Man, that thing fits in your hand nicely. Look at that. Look at that. Check that out. Ooh, nice and sharp. Got like a Tanto recurve thing working there. Don't you think? Let's see if I can get a better look at this with some light. Light. Where's the light? Where's my light? There we go. There. Anyways, let's see how it opens. Let's see. I think it's assisted, right? Yeah, it's assisted. Watch this thing snap open. Oh, man. Look at that. So there you go. It fits my chunky hands really nicely. It's got a sweet, sweet lanyard hole. And it, I don't know. I like it. I'm not going to tell you how much I like it because I got to review it. And I got to put it back in the box. So there you go. I think that's it. Let's see. You get a bunch of candy buttons so y'all can play checkers with them. Oh, that's true. King me. Oh. All right. I'll probably send those out to the family. Thwacky, stabby, snappy. Yeah, it was all those things. Okay, I think that is all I have to show you. I think I've gone through, except for box A. Hey, we did it. Oh, the ghost got it all done in one night. That's pretty good. We still have some time left over so that I can hear what you all have coming in. What do y'all have coming in this week? Anything excellent? I know y'all got some NKD stuff coming in. Do, 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 do. All right. I don't think I have anything left coming in, but I'm making some deals for some sweet, sweet, sweet knives. I'm just having to wait. Wait for the deal. Oh, you want something that's cool? My dad gave me a safe today. He bought a new safe, and then he gave me a safe. It's a really nice safe. An air. Get an air coming in? Got my Natrix and Rough Rider flipper in today. Nice. How you like that Rough Rider flipper? I've never, never ch checked it out. 2 a.m. I'm up watching Jimmy Slash. You are dedicated, David. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Ooh, a Spider Go Caribbean. The official knife of Striper. To hell with the devil. I have a box of Rough Riders coming in. Nice. That's a good good thing to have come in a box of them I saw your 566 Pete that thing's pretty cool that'd be awesome case bows knife oh nice win that was a nice one that's awesome CRKT Calico Kershaw Matrix best tech rhino oh I want a best tech rhino that's cool I hate to say it but it's meh oh I'm sorry that's too bad Christine, I read it as best tech, and then I had to go back. And now I see it's B's tech. But that's okay. Dang, you have a lot of stuff coming in. Rough Rider case, Essie, that's awesome. Caribbean. Car Caribbean. 
Pirates of the Caribbean. Come on, Doc. Everybody knows that. Pirates of the Caribbean. Nobody wants to see that movie. <laughs> oh, I don't want to ride that ride. Striper. Yeah. It's only nine bucks. No big deal. I'm going to give it to my son. Oh, that's perfect then. There you go. My son wanted booty knife. I wouldn't give it to him. <laughs> no, he didn't. He wanted the other one. So I let him have the other one. That wasn't booty knife. Oh, the 8010. I love the 8010. Let me get mine out here. There you go. Thing's awesome. This one, I don't know. That's just an awesome knife. What knife is this in front of me? This is the Tucson of undetermined nomenclature. Nomenclature. I don't know what the number is on this. I just know I like it. And it was a gift. So. It's very cool. It's very slicey. Very easy to sharpen. And super easy to go through stuff. Just. I'm just trying to find a lanyard that would be awesome for this. So. I haven't found that yet. Hey, Hawaii Knife and Gear, welcome. The TS-29. I'll eventually remember that, Pete. I'm sorry. Just, I love it. That's all I need to know. It's like having a child. You're not sure his name. You have 18 children. You know it's, he's like number 13 or 14. He might be Peter. It, it might be, you know, Paul. It's probably not Mary because, you know, obviously. But you know you love him. You know, And I know I love this one. I don't know it's Peter or Paul. But I love it. It's a great knife. <laughs> <clears throat> I like it better than 8015 too, Blade Man. Definitely. It's this is a must-have knife for me. I now I have some 8015s, but they're all the customs or the mid techs. This thing I had I got rid of one of them and then I just had to get another one. So I love this knife. <clears throat> all right. What else y'all got coming in? Anything good? Anything excellent? There you go. Go, go foreman on them. That's good. All George and Georgina's. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so thirsty. Whew. All right. Let's see. Anything else going on? Oh, the giveaway. I'm doing a video. I did a video. It's a silly cat video, but it's important for the giveaway. Now, I know I'm supposed to do, I gotta say, I'm, so, I'm fast like the micro machine guy. <laughs> it was supposed to be announced on Friday what's gonna be the giveaway, but I'm gonna do it on Sunday so I can give myself extra time. I just got busy this week, but I'll launch that video tonight. It's just a goofy cat video, but it's important for the giveaway. And. Then there'll be other videos this week that'll be important for the final giveaway there. You don't want to miss it. I have something really cool I'm not going to show you, but believe me, it's something you don't want to miss out on. And it's going to be a good giveaway. I got a bunch of stuff left over from, not a bunch of stuff, but some stuff left over from National Knife Day giveaways. And, and I got stickers and stuff, but also got something excellent. And you don't want to miss out on that. So... I'm just going to announce it here for right now, as far as that goes, and then I'm going to do the giveaway on the live stream, so that all the folks that can be on the live stream get a chance at it. All right. Ooh, 450 from the raffle. That's nice. I'm Larry, Daryl, Daryl. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, cut it down. Got two out of three chance. The Spiderco stretch, Ritoku coming. Oh, nice. Awesome. Buttons. Did I go over the buttons? Yeah, I went over the buttons. They were really inexpensive. The spinner. You want to see the spinner? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Oh, look Christine. Make it fun. Make it fun for everybody. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> oh yeah, the 450 is cool. 
like I said, I think the chunkiness in my swelling in my fingers is going down enough so that I can get into the spinner. Not the spinner, the 450. That's a really great EDC knife. And then, you know, like I've said before, I've bought it several times. Just thinking maybe the last time I bought it, it wasn't right, but but it was a uh, <laughs> way to go, Christine. <laughs> but it was uh, a good purchase for somebody with a smaller hand. And I like the 452, obviously. It's a great knife, too. But man, just that little 450 would be perfect. I think I'd like that. So, <laughs> the knife. I've got Pete under my spell. Yeah, the thing is, you can get them pretty inexpensively, Michael. You can, if you're willing to look, you can find them in the 115 range fairly, fairly simply. It won't be right away, but you might have to do a little bartering or stuff like that. Read that last comment type with a lot of sarcasm. <laughs> oh, this is a six minute spinner. This thing will go forever. Well, not forever, but six minutes, which is forever in spinner life. I like the spinner fad. You know, I I got into it not because it was the fad. I just like fidgety stuff. Hey, Kurt, hey, Pete. Thank you, Peter B, for being here. Appreciate it. Appreciate y'all being here. Let me see how much longer we got for the wing. For, I get wingy. <laughs> There's a few minutes left. All right, let's see what else we got. Anything else? Anything else you got to tell me? Got the giveaway covered. We did the stickers. We got all the other stuff going. Man, I kind of went fast to us. I should have dragged it out. Whoa, whoa, what happened there? That's not good. Almost bought a spinner. I a friend of mine bought me a spinner knife. I got it in one of the the uh, what you call it, the folders over there, the knife roll folder things. It's a good way to stab yourself. Nice <laughs> fun. All right, I guess that's it. I really appreciate y'all showing up so late, and I. I appreciate y'all letting me talk to you and put up with my stupidity. I had fun. Yeah, I always like to talk to you guys, especially after arm wrestling, when the pain kicks in. But it was awesome. So, watch for the video. I'm going to upload it this, like, in the next couple hours or so. So, watch for that. And then, you know, be here Friday. We'll do another live stream. And we'll open up Box B. And maybe something magical will come in and I can check it out. Y'all have a good morning. Get back to work. Go back to bed. Go to bed. And take care of yourself. Who makes a little spinner? Um, I bought this at this uh, educational toy store. So it's not like a... It's not a... Brand name spinner or anything. It was just sitting there for 18 bucks or something. Frozen peas. That's a great idea. I think I'm going to do that. Oh, that's right. I remember the the time difference over there in Hawaii. I was always waking up my folks middle of the night to talk to them when I was over there. Hey, it's 7 o'clock here. What are y'all doing? <sighs> All right, y'all take it easy. I appreciate y'all being here. Had a really good time. And if y'all need me, jimmy slash youtube at yahoo.com or hit me on Facebook. And I'll talk to y'all later.